this is a video to welcome you to the word processing applications course and um, to ensure that we all get a good start so that we'll have a successful uh, experience in this course. So on the front page you can click the start here course welcome to go through the start here module which is the most important thing that you'll do this first week. Be sure that you read through each of these they may look similar to other classes you've taken, but they all hold different material. Be sure that you listen to the welcome video. And again, that you go through and read carefully each of the pages. We did have an update to course navigation uh, this past summer of 16. So uh, this course navigation is a little bit different if you haven't um, used it yet, you want to definitely be sure and go through it. If you should have to leave after you've read some of the pages and you don't get to finish, you can always, when you come back the next time and land on the home page, you can always click modules and go back to where you left off. So if I click modules, and I was just on course navigation, then I could go to changing notifications. What you might want to do is put a sticky note on your computer that tells you where you left off or in, um, in your book or on your desk or on your calendar, make a notation to do. Use your smartphone if you have a smartphone for your to-do list so that you'll know where you left off and can go back to it quickly. All of the module pages are meant to help you uh, get started quickly and easily. So the course overview and course objectives page will give you a general idea of what you'll be learning in here, the objectives for the whole course, and how you're going to meet those objectives. The necessary skills gives you an idea of what you should already know before taking this class so you don't feel overwhelmed uh, with things that you should have already known and have to be frustrated trying to learn those real quickly. Requi required materials that gives you your ISBN. This is a textbook or ebook that is a code with uh, materials, so you want to be sure you do not buy a used. You can buy a used hard copy textbook if you want to um, to use, but you, it's not required. You won't be typing that many things out of the ebook, so it's mostly going to be a reference of looking up things. So. Uh, you do need the code though, it is required. And the technology that you need, hopefully you've kept your computer up to date and so you are ready to roll with the technology. Course and institutional policies, be sure you read those. Uh, they're also in your syllabus. Support services, how to get help, how to get help with advising, how to get help with financial aid. Um, how to get accommodations, how to get any kind of help, just about tutoring that you might need. Course structure is how the course will work. So it will give you the um, information for what will be first, second, third, um, and throughout the semester. Course schedule and grading, uh, also in the syllabus. How we will interact with each other and expectations. I do. Um, respond to emails within uh, 48 hours, usually sooner, and I also grade everything usually within 48 hours, uh, but not always. It may, it is required that I grade them, or I require it of myself, that I grade them within seven days of the due date. So you want to be sure and read what's expected also of you. It's a good idea to uh, log in at least every other day and uh, sometimes more often because you want to be sure that you're not missing announcements or other uh, emails and, and communication such as that. You also uh, want to be sure that you have set aside enough time for this three-hour course, which is usually anywhere from nine to 12 hours per week to finish all the assignments successfully. I do not live in uh, Alamogordo or New Mexico actually, so uh, if we want to meet, we can meet virtually um, using Adobe Connect. It works real well. I'm pretty experienced in it, so please don't hesitate to reach out and ask for a conference in the virtual conference room. 
the netiquette policy, which is really important in online courses. Uh, you have two first assignments, introduction discussion and the syllabus discussion. The next thing you'll do this first week is to register your code. And all the information you need is here under that module for registering your code. So please be sure that you do read all of that. Uh, and become familiar with how to register your code. It's a pretty simple process if your computer is up to date, you've kept Windows up to date installed, you've kept your Java and Flash up to date, you shouldn't have any problems registering the code, but if you do, there are some help files here and some other ways to get help, as well as keeping me in the loop so I know what's going on. And then your first, we call it the zero tutorial, is managing your files. It's a good idea to learn all about how to uh, organize yourself, how File Explorer works, and also how unzipping files works and zipping files. So uh, if you're already familiar with, familiar with this, it, it won't take you long uh, to complete it. It also shows uh, when everything's due here as well as the points. And then the next one, the first tutorial, getting into the meat of word processing is um, tutorial one, creating and editing a document. At the end of each week, when most of the assignments are done, you'll do a journal. It's a pretty quick assignment, but it does count as participation. This journal is a discussion between you and I on how you did, what you liked about it, what you didn't like about it. It's a good place for me to point out some things if I need to, or for you to ask questions um, if you haven't already, or for me to identify any struggles that you might have, or, or things that you're really good at even. So you want to be sure and participate in the journal and uh, effectively be sure that you take that um, seriously. This course is integrated. That's the last thing I'll talk about in this video. That means that you will not have to log in to a second site. That is one of the biggest complaints about using the codes. So all your logins will be done through, um, through Canvas. You do not log in, you do not register anywhere else, only in Canvas. And also it means that your grades will go over immediately. So uh, once you've completed an assignment, uh, it will show up in the gradebook in Canvas. So that's the reason I integrated the uh, code with the course so that it would do those two things. If you have any questions, be sure and contact me. You should find my contact information all over the, the uh, website. So just let me know if you have a question.